Mitsubishi Wire EDM now uses a new cylindrical drive technology that replaces the standard ball screw drive of the past. We are here today to provide you with a better understanding of the high accuracy, zero maintenance linear shaft motor design and how it stacks up against other linear motor designs. The origin of the linear shaft motor dates back to 1995 for use as a fast linear drive system for packaging and small part assembly machines. This next generation of motors is all about speed, power, and accuracy, far above the original design. The basic design concept of the new motors expand on the original, simple, non-contact principle by adding high precision. This simple motor design consists of two parts, the electronic forcer and the magnetic shaft. The linear shaft motor is simply a high precision direct drive linear servo motor that consists of a shaft packed with rare earth iron boron permanent NIB magnets and a forcer of cylindrically wound copper coils. Showing a typical installation as a machine tool drive motor, the shaft is mounted to the base much like the ball screw and the forcer is mounted to the table much like the nut. The alignment between the two is very easy because there is no physical contact between the shaft and the forcer. A large air gap is possible due to the even distribution of magnetic flux around the shaft, making the shaft to forcer alignment non-critical. This high precision 5 nanometer step positioning test is done on a CMM type table with air bearing guides using dual linear shaft motors and a 1 nanometer Heidenhain linear scale. The table was loaded with a 55 pound workpiece to simulate a part inspection. The positioning commands were in 5 nanometer stepping increments and as the chart shows there is no overshoot or backlash. This shows that with no outside mechanical or magnetic influence present, step motion can be extremely precise and that the accuracy of this drive system is directly based on the quality of the linear scale feedback system used. The motion of the linear motor in its simplest form is the same as adding current to a standard electric motor, only in a straight line rather than a circle. The magnets are in the shaft producing the magnetic flux like the motor's stator. The three-phase copper coils are in the forcer like the motor's rotor. Passing current through the coils creates an electromagnetic field that pulls the coils along the magnets in the shaft, operating on the principle of Fleming's Law of Motion. Magnetic field distribution is critical when it comes to both power and energy efficiency of an electric motor design. The key to this design is a patented system of forcing light poles together, north to north and south to south, with no space in between them, creating a very strong magnetic field as can be seen here by the flux spikes in this graph. The linear motion design rule is force equals current times magnetic field where force is measured in newtons, current is measured in amps, and magnetic field is measured in teslas. Temperature increase equals current times resistance to create the force. Stronger magnetic flux in the system means less current is used to get the same force. Less temperature is generated in the motor. This creates a very efficient linear motor. Linear shaft motors provide ultra high precision, extended coreless design, no iron in the forcer, no cogging, stiff forcer design. They have no iron in the forcer or the shaft providing the precision and zero cogging expected in a coreless design. The compressed extended coils in the forcer form the core providing a level of stiffness expected in an iron core design. Here we see a typical iron core motor design which consists of a set of permanent magnets attached to an iron back yoke on the bottom and a forcer designed with the coils wrapped around iron centers which are attached to an iron back yoke on the top. Some of the points we are going to address about this linear synchronous motor with an iron core are a precision air gap is required. This means the machine level and magnet cleanliness are critical. Large attraction and centering forces between the magnets and the cores this equals cogging. An exposed magnetic track attracts metallic shop debris. And the ineffective use of magnetic flux, it only uses one side. As current is applied to the coils, eddy currents create heat which generates nonlinear force output. 
As the system build heats, the force per current level continues to drop. So an external chiller system is required to maintain a higher efficiency rate. The iron core centers are attracted to the powerful permanent magnets, pulling down on them and also centering on them. This centering attraction creates what's known as cogging, which is a jerking motion created when the movement of the core resists being pulled off center by the coil energy from one magnet, and then once moved far enough is attracted to the next magnet. The vertical attraction force of the iron cores wanting to stick to the magnets is only managed by the air gap set by the linear way system of the machine. The coreless U-shaped linear synchronous motor is designed with an epoxy core to eliminate the iron attraction issue to the magnets and also to expose the coils to more magnet surface in an effort to improve efficiency. Here you can see this design has the epoxy based core centered between two sets of magnets mounted on iron back yokes. Let's address some of the design issues of this system. Restricted heat dissipation from the sandwich coils. The epoxy core has limited mechanical stiffness. And it still suffers from partial use of the available magnetic flux in the design. The coils sandwiched between the magnets have a restricted airflow and poor heat dissipation. The epoxy core design does not contribute to the stiffness of the coils. Now that we understand some of the basic differences between a core and coreless design, Let's look at the linear shaft motor design where the coils have been removed from the iron centers and off the epoxy core and packed tightly together in a cylindrical design to greatly increase their stiffness. The coils are completely exposed allowing for maximum airflow and heat dissipation. This chart shows this coreless design with no eddy current generated heat and a consistent linear force output. Magnets generate their power, flux, in all directions. So as mentioned earlier about the shaft to forcer alignment, why not put that fact to complete use? The shaft motor design provides a large air gap between the shaft and the forcer. It could be anywhere from 0.5 to 2.5 millimeters, or an inch that's 20 thousandths to 100 thousandths, with no effect on its operation. Since the coil completely wraps around the magnets, all the magnetic flux is efficiently used. This allows for the large 0.5 to 2.5 millimeter nominal air gap. This air gap is non-critical, meaning there is no variation in force as the gap varies over the stroke of the machine. This flat plate design graphic shows that even though the magnetic flux is radiating in all directions, only the upper half is being used by the coils around the iron cores. The U-shaped design motor has twice as many magnets but only the inner flux is effectively used by the coils on the epoxy core. The shaft design has a cylindrical coil where all the magnetic flux is effectively used. The cylindrical design of the linear shaft motor allows for full use of the magnetic flux, producing very efficient operation and high levels of power. This allows the air gap to become non-critical. As the shaft alignment shifts within the air gap, the net linear force and current requirements remain constant. Because of the non-contact design, no lubrication is required, no adjustments are necessary, being echo-friendly, it generates no noise, no dust, and virtually no heat. It's energy efficient, has a very simple setup, and very simple alignment. This is a comparison chart of the different types of linear motors available today. It is a very quick, easy way to see the strengths and weaknesses of each type of motor for whatever application you need to address. Mitsubishi made the decision years ago that they didn't want to deal with the negative issues of iron core type motors and saw that the U-shape or coreless flat motors just didn't have the power they required. Once the performance of the new high precision linear shaft motors became available, with none of the issues of the other two systems, it was off to the races of designing them into the MV series wire EDM machines. Here is an interesting study related to the efficiency of the linear shaft motor. The linear shaft motor is inherently more efficient than other types of linear motors. An independent 2010 study by the University of Virginia indicates that the linear shaft motor is approximately 
50% more efficient in transferring electrical energy to mechanical energy than a comparable U-channel motor. An additional note reads that U-channel motors are more energy efficient than flat plate motors. Here is a quick list of advantages of the linear shaft motor. Has the ability to use commercially available servo drivers. High speeds can be achieved while remaining high precision. At the same time, extremely high precision, low speed uniformity, and high reliability is possible. Because of the non-contact design, no lubrication or adjustment is required. Very simple setup and operation time. No need for extended burn-in. Simple alignment and QC period. Echo friendly, no noise, no dust, minimal heat generation. Energy efficient, power requirements are lower than that of ball screw systems. Long term reliability in a wide range of environments from extremely harsh to extremely clean. With a long history of successful integration, the linear shaft motor is proven to have an MTBF of well over 100,000 hours. All these advantages are why Mitsubishi EDM is able to place a 10-year positioning accuracy guarantee on the MV series wire EDM machines. This harsh environment demonstration took a handful of steel chips and iron filings and dumped them all over this shaft. The unit pushed the large chips to the end of the stroke and the smaller ones gathered around the locations where the magnets meet inside the shaft. As you can see, they don't hinder the motor's operation in any way. Try this with any other linear design system. These next two videos show different combinations of multiple shaft and forcer designs. This is showing an XY table design where the Y axis is using dual shafts and forcers running from a single servo amp while carrying the X axis driven with a single shaft motor. This last example is showing four shaft motors running from a single servo amp. This is to provide more thrust for the application. For more information on these products using the new cylindrical drive system, please contact MC Machinery Systems or your local Mitsubishi EDM dealer. Thank you.